everyone. Today we're going to be drawing the California state flag. The California state flag has a grizzly bear on it, as well as one red star, the words California Republic, and at the bottom of the flag there is a band of red color. So that's what we're going to be doing. Today you will need white paper, a pencil, and a black marker, as well as anything you want to color your flag with. It could be colored pencils, crayons, or colored markers. I've done mine in colored markers so that you guys can see the color a little better. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, everybody, we're going to get started drawing the California state flag. You'll, you're going to need your white paper and a ruler, a pencil, a black marker, and an eraser. And of course, the colors um, that you're going to be using um, can either be pencils, crayons or markers and you'll need a red a green and a brown and possibly two shades of brown if you have it but if you just have one brown that's that's perfectly fine okay so i'm going to put all this aside and get started the first thing that i want you guys to draw on your paper is a rectangle inside of your paper and that will be just to keep the bear in one space okay and I'm going to be drawing rather darkly. I want you all to draw lightly because most of this will be erased. Most of the pencil lines will be erased on your paper. So to start out, let's draw a rectangle on your paper like that. Now you're going to be drawing three ovals in this rectangle for the structure of the bear. The first one is an oval that's over to the left of the rectangle, and it's about that size, like that. And that's going to be just the structure of his head. And then the next one is a rather large one that is like that, and that's the bulk of his body there. And then one more that's going in the same direction, another oval, where there it's an oval that's going to be in between this one and this one. It's going to overlap this oval just a tad. And it, you want it to be sort of at the same height as well. Like that. Okay, now, now the next thing I want you to do is we're going to draw the structure of his nose. And what you're going to do is you're going to come like that. Make sort of a, a long line that kind of curves over to the right. And then go ahead and go up like that. And that is sort of his where his nose ends and his mouth begins. He also has a little line below his mouth that is the bottom of his mouth or like his jaw that connects that kind of goes like that. And right where this line came down and intersects with that, draw a little line that goes across and that's just going to be a guideline for the eyes. So right now let's go ahead and connect these three by doing sort of a swooped in line a curved line like that. And then let's add a neck line for him, like right about like that. And let's go ahead and put the eyes in just so, so we can see his eyes a little bit. Now, where I put that eye in, you want to come up and you're going to be doing sort of like a the other side of his head and then let's give him some ears and the ear will go like that and then you want to give him an ear on the other side too that we can't really see like that now there's a lot of lines here but we're going to be erasing a lot of these let's go ahead and give his nose a little snout and some little breathing holes down there Okay. Now, we're going to draw four lines to represent the beginning of his legs. 
So where you drew this nick line, I want you to come down, sort of make a J, a J line. And then sort of where this nick line ended, I want you to do it again, another J line. And then right about in the middle of his belly, I'm gonna do another one that's sort of short. And then right around here, maybe a little less than an inch away from that line, you wanna do another sort of J line that goes like that. Okay, so now what I want you to do is we're going to draw the four lines that are the, the back side of his legs. And so right about here on the second line, you're gonna come down, you're gonna sort of follow that line, this and that. And then right around here, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna come down and just end it. And these are gonna be big bare legs. And right around here, you're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna come down and just end it like that. Remember, bears have really big legs, they're really strong. And then on the back side of his body here, we're gonna do his back leg, and it's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna come down just like that. Now, I want you to connect these to make his feet. Connect them, connect them, connect them, connect them like that. And we can make him have like a toe. And then let's go ahead and erase a lot of these lines so that you can kind of see what you're dealing with. So you're gonna be erasing these oval circles inside. Now you wanna leave this line, that's his tummy, his belly, and that leg is behind it, so you don't wanna erase it. And you wanna erase this, all these lines up here the one around his face, the one around his ears, that snout line. Okay, and if you erase something by mistake, like I just, I got rid of a lot of his ear, and just go back and draw it again. Okay, okay, so now we've got, we've got a quick structure of a bear, and that looks like a bear. So we're going to take a black marker and sort of make like a little bit of a jagged line on your on your lines that go around the bear to kind of give it some fur look to it. And, and what I mean by that is sort of like rough lines like this. You just go around those, all those lines and just be careful that you aren't drawing on a line that you're not supposed to. And see what I mean? By the time you do all this, if you've made any kind of mistake, nobody will know because these jagged lines are gonna be kind of hiding it. So come all the way over. And this big leg right here, if you make it rough looking, it just looks like fur. and kind of give, the, give, give him some toes. And then go over his ears. And do his little face and his eyes, his nose, his mouth. Got a little bear right there, lines. Okay, now just leave him for now. And when your black marker ink dries, Try to go ahead and erase all your lines. The square, the rectangle lines that we drew to get the bear in there. And all the lines around the bear's legs and his belly, his big back legs, the top of him. And there we have a bear. Look at that. Okay, so now we've got our bear drawn. 
And what we're gonna do is we're going to assume that this entire page is the flag. So now what I want you to do is grab your pencil again and up here in the upper left-hand corner, come down about an inch, an inch or so on each from the side and from the top and draw a star that we will outline in black and color red. And then around your bear, you're going to be putting him in a field of grass. And you can just do some lines like this. Go behind his body. And that will all be green right there. And then take your ruler and come up about, about an inch. And you can draw, you can mark an inch off on both sides so that you can get a straight line. And where you made those marks, put your ruler down and follow those, those little lines and draw a straight line. And that is where the red band is. And right above that is where we're going to be drawing California Republic. Now, just so that you can draw California Republic, the letters in an even space, right above this line that you drew, draw another line just put your ruler above it and just give yourself a little bit of a space maybe the thickness of your pinky um, or about a quarter of an inch or so and draw yourself another line and remember draw lightly because you want to erase that we're going to be writing the words california republic right on that line the second line that we just drew so grab your pencil and draw the words California Republic, the letters. And what I would do is I would start your C right around here. You wanna do all capitals, just like that. And spell out California. Try to do all your letters the same height. And it's all capitals, so California. And remember, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is a sketch of the flag. And then a little bit of space between the two words. Republic. Okay. Now, what you should do now is take your marker and your black marker and outline your, your star. And then take your ruler again and draw that line where the, where the red band is gonna be, right where your pencil line is. Just take your marker and use your ruler and make a straight line. And then you could go ahead and outline your field of grass. Just remember when you do this, don't go over the bear's legs, go behind his legs and you can make that sort of a jagged line as well. And now you can start coloring. And what I would do is I would just start with your red and get this star colored. I won't color this whole thing with you. Um, I'll show you how I colored mine, but I would start by doing the red first and then get this red band done and Take your brown marker that you're going to be using for the bear and write out your words with your marker or your crayons or your pencils. Spell your words out. And then you can start coloring the bear and the grass. And just keep in mind that Bears, grizzly bears, are really, really dark. They are a dark, dark, dark color. So if your brown marker, your brown pencil, or your brown crayons aren't dark, just keep doing it. Just keep going over it and over it, over it again. And you'll see that the brown will start getting a little darker. And I'll show you the one of the ones that I did for you guys. So here... You can see I just kept going over it and over it and over it with the brown marker. 
I colored the star red, the red band down here. Then I did the lettering and I put him on a field of grass. And one thing I wanted to let you guys know that if you draw the California flag and you just want to keep drawing the bear, you can put the bear in his own environment. You could put him out in a field where he's looking for something to eat with some mountains behind it and a blue sky. Or, you know, he could be walking in a river trying to catch a salmon. He could be doing anything. Um, or you could, you know, just draw him all by himself. He's, these grizzly bears are beautiful animals and they're a lot of fun to draw. And if you um, can get your shapes down with those three ovals, you should be able to create this bear. You can just be a super happy guy walking around, okay? So I hope you had fun and that you enjoyed drawing the California flag and this grizzly bear. Okay, thank you.